Okay, here we are approaching Sukkah City, Union Square, New York City, uh, two days before Sukkah. We have with us the greatest art critic of Sukkahs in the world, Jerome Stern. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It's a beautiful uh, yeah, there was a rabbi that came around and this somewhere, you can see the right, rabbi. somewhere and somewhere. Yeah. So these are shims. Uh, yeah, these are shims. And what's the concept behind uh, building a sukkah of shims? Uh, well, I, the idea of building out of shims came before this sukkah competition, but um, we thought that it made a, a really good sukkah structure because of the porosity that the stacking creates. So you can see through the roof to the stars, and it allows. You know, a nice connection between the inside and outside. It's beautiful. Good breeze and all that sort of stuff. That's true. Good ventilation. Yeah, it, it's, great. it's a lot of shade, but still, because of the thickness of the material, it lets a lot of air through, but doesn't let all the sun through, so it, keeps, it stays pretty cool. Even yesterday when it was 80. It smells great, too. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? Uh, You're not Jewish. I'm not, no. How did you get into this? Uh, this was an open competition, architecture competition, for architects or designers. No, no, it didn't have to be. Um, I think this in general is more of an architecture competition to sort of take the rules of sukkah building and all that tradition and see what an architect would do with you know, a pretty, what is a pretty stringent set of rules. You're underneath the wood. No chance of being a kosher sucker? It's, uh, they took some wood in West Hampton. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Whoa. Just beautiful. Never mind. I, I thought there were no metal. I like that one. Yeah, that's my favorite. That should be like no, in my by the art bar. I'll go. Uh, last week, last week I was walking by here and I played a game of chess. I got killed. This one could be kosher. What do you think? Two little stuff. What? The wood can't be considered the scarf? But it's connected. It's, it's connected. Yeah, yeah. I was discussing whether this could be kosher, but it's connected. You know, it's made of wood, but it's yeah. connected. If they wouldn't have the screws, then it would be a different story. So it doesn't have to be schak. It's, uh, what Anything is that? Anything that grows. Anything that grows. Good? Oh, yeah. See the other ones, or you started here? Come on. What? You see, you go there. We've only seen three, but I want to read the concept behind this one. It's a It's a building it on a tree, on Which a camel. Have? Well, I'm just saying they thought of crazy ideas also. Can, can you build a sukkah in a pit? I don't know if that's crazy, pit? but yeah, they're, they're, they're crazy. They're pretty crazy. They have it on a camel. On a camel. They have it in a pit. It, it's you know, like it's like no, it's not that crazy. Like like you you want to build it in a truck, yes? That's right. That, 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 like a mitzvah tank. I think like most of these sukkahs, uh, if you have one just in the side of this, a kosher one, it would be perfect. Ah, <laughs> but one of them could again. be kosher. This is very cool. Yeah, this is probably kosher. This is very yeah, close, close to being kosher. You need you need to have more. The rabbi said so. The rabbi is so part of it. It's like furniture sukkah. Like a basket. That's right. Could be Noah's, uh, not no, Moses' little basket. 